it's an honor to be here today uh, in Jeffersonville, in a community that uh, joins so many rural communities in Vermont in not being adequately connected to the internet and to the outside world. And uh, I've often said that, you know, I will never be the best governor from Putney, Vermont. Because the best governor from Putney, Vermont was a guy named George D.A. And when he was elected governor, he had a similar challenge that we're conquering today with broadband that Vermont was facing with electricity. It was a new technology. And the power company said, hey, Governor Aitken, we'll get you power in downtown Jefferson. We'll get you power in downtown Bennington, downtown Bradford, downtown Burlington, downtown Newport. But we can't possibly afford to get it out to the end of the dirt road to the farm at the end of that road. And the governor then recognized that if we didn't get electricity at every last mile of Vermont, Vermont would not compete for jobs and economic opportunities. Our challenge is no different today with broadband. And the challenge that Governor Aiken faced getting electricity to every last mile of this great state then was matched by my determination to get broadband for every last mile of Vermont by 2013. Now, I've said many times, thank God, there's 12 months in 2013, but we are going to deliver on that promise. Listen, here's our challenge together. We can't grow jobs and economic opportunities in Vermont if we continue to be behind Cambodia, Vietnam, Croatia, Bosnia, and many of the other 49 states in America in connectivity. It is as important electricity to growing jobs, economic opportunities, to education, to ensuring that the Barnum Memorial Library of Jeff remains relevant to the future. And all I can tell you is this is an incredibly exciting moment. Now I want to say a word about Fairpoint's commitment, because they're one of our many partners in this enterprise. And VTA is important work. The public dollars that Vermonters are investing in partnerships with companies like Fairpoint. Listen, here's where we are. VTA had the wisdom to grant $780,000 in partnership with Fairpoint's private investment to hook up today Jeffersonville, Cambridge, and Waterville, those residents, 650 exchanges, which actually will turn into the 800 individuals connected to high-speed access that never would have happened had it not been for this partnership. It promises to connect not only the Barnum Memorial Library to make this the hub of learning, and I know we'll hear more about shortly, but also to ensure that people can be safe. There was no greater revelation, revelation to me about how important this is for emergency management than when Irene hit Vermont last August. We had entire communities cut off from communication, people without food, access to hospital, access to school, access to fire protection, access to ambulance and no telephone. We're bridging that gap in this community today. This gift, and I truly look at it as a gift, not just for the folks today, but our future generations, because we have so many young people who want to grow and learn and reach out to the world, and have the world reach back to them. And this enhanced technology is going to allow us to do what we are committed to doing which is serving our community.